Hello, and thank you for watching this short video we've created to help you learn a little bit more about Planet's new surface reflectance base maps. We're going to start with a quick product overview, show you a few examples, then let you know where to go to get more information on this exciting new product. Planet surface reflectance base maps are wide area mosaics built using only Planet Scope 4 band surface reflectance data. Planet Scope surface reflectance data represents the reflective properties of the pixels on the Earth's surface. Incident solar radiation, instrument characteristics, and atmospheric effects have all been accounted for to provide a quantitative measure of surface material properties. So how do we make our surface reflectance products? Well, we use the 6S atmospheric correction model in combination with MODIS data for aerosol type, aerosol optical depth, water vapor, ozone, and pressure and temperature profiles. We also account for factors like sun angle and satellite viewing geometry. What this means is that we're able to deliver data that is consistent across seasons, continents, and instruments. The output is a base map product that's been optimized for analysis, whether your quantitative land cover change, met monitoring farmland, or building object detection algorithms. Finally, the results are output into our analytic SR product with all of the relevant metadata so you can reference all of the processing that has been applied. Surface reflectance base maps can be generated for any specified time of interest and area of interest desired. The shorter the TOI, the more likely the base map is to have higher amounts of cloud cover, but Planet will make best efforts to minimize clouds in our scene selection process. Surface reflectance base maps are delivered using the exact same API, UI, and web services currently supported by Planet. The new Planet Base Map Viewer allows you to view base maps as either standard RGB or color infrared products. It also allows you to interactively compare to base maps side by side to help you quickly understand changes between two time periods. Another exciting feature of Planet Base Maps is that we provide the full source provenance of each pixel. So if you need to know the exact date, time, and source of a pixel in any of our base maps, you can write, find it right from the viewer or API. Here we have four surface reflectance base maps over California. Each base map represents a seven day time period and all of the data in the base map are taken strictly from within each time period designated. You can see how this can be a very useful tool for time dependent applications that need quantitative metrics, including agriculture, forestry, climate studies, and more. Here are the basic surface reflectance base map product specifications. They are comprised only of Planet Scope 4 band surface reflectance pixels and use the same default projection and pixel size as all of our other Planet Base Map products. They are delivered as 4 band RGB NIR with an alpha band describing any locations where data were unavailable. Visual tiles for surface reflectance base maps can be generated as RGB or as color infrared. Why? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Base maps are measurable. These surface reflectance base maps can be used to derive analytic metrics like NDVI, EVI, NDWI, and more. They're accurate. You can compare them to absolute measured standards like laboratory spectra. They're quantifiable. They can be used for quantitative radiometric assessment, making them useful in climate and environmental applications. They're consistent. Base maps come up from a single provider with well-characterized and cross-comparable hardware configurations and have single atmospheric correction approach applied. They're reliable. Planet's daily coverage over most of the planet allows you to source all data for a narrow TOI from a single provider. They're efficient. All data are pre-processed using Planet's mosaicing engine into regularly gridded, easy to access GeoTIFF quads. And finally, they're crisp. Atmospheric correction can result in crisper and cleaner imagery. Who? Well, we built this product to benefit any current or future users looking to perform more robust quantitative analysis. Whether it be measuring specific vegetation indices, surface albedo for climate models, looking for environmental indicators, or using machine learning algorithms that benefit from a standardized baseline, this is the product for you. To learn more, please visit our website at planet.com slash products slash base maps for more detailed inf information and product specifications.